Hello, Tim from Fair Play Now on the 27th of July 2021. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you a couple of uh, other video recommendations, things I've seen uh, earlier on today that I found uh, really, really interesting, and one of them really, really funny. So stay tuned for that. But I thought I would tell you about a little plan I've got should the government be insane enough to force us into yet another one of those and that I'm sure you know what I mean a lot of uh, people watching this channel seem pretty pessimistic that that is going to be happening in the next uh, month two months maybe three months and i must say i don't disagree with you it's something that uh, is a very real possibility but i am just not going to consent to it and the first thing i'm going to do as soon as they announce it i'm going to clear my diary of all work that I've got booked in. I'm going to take a week off. I'm going to get into my vehicle there that you often see me in because if I take all my stuff out and all the seats out, I've got enough room in there to take a few bits and pieces away with me and, and to sleep in there. And I'm literally just going to drive as far around the country as I can just to be completely and utterly bloody minded and to tell the government in uh, uh, not so many words exactly what I think of them and their latest diktat. So uh, what I'm gonna sort of plan on doing is, I'm in Sussex here, so I'm gonna go up the eastern side of the country. I'm going to kind of go into the little um, East Anglia Anglia bulge there and then continue up through the northeast. Uh, if I can get into Scotland, if that uh, horrible woman hasn't closed the border, I will sort of get up into Scotland, maybe sort of through some back road rather than the main road. I will carry on all the way up to the top of Scotland and have a little look around there and then I'll be coming down the western side of Scotland back into England so sort of probably even divert into Wales and have a look around there again if that awful little man hasn't closed the borders but hopefully again I can find my way into there somehow and then around the southwest of the country before coming back along the south coast to uh, Sussex so and that is going to be what uh, at least a thousand miles 1500 mile trip so I'll be doing exactly what they won't be wanting me to do I will be sort of going all over the place and obviously it's going to take several days so I'll just be sleeping in the back of my vehicle it's big enough to uh, for me to get a kind of a a uh, little camp bed or a mattress or something in there and and to sleep on in a sleeping bag and I'll take a bit of food with me and yeah that I'll, off I go and I think it will demonstrate a very sort of marked lack of respect for the government and their uh, dictate sh uh, or latest dictates should they see fit to bring in another one of those so thought i'd uh, inform you of that plan and who knows if you're along the route i might see fit to uh, barge my way into your house and uh, ask you for a cup of coffee who knows i'm a bit cheeky like that sometimes anyway that is the plan because as far as this government's concerned, I refuse to consent in any way, shape or form to anything they come out with, certainly as far as uh, uh, the whole Lurgy situation is concerned and probably for pretty much everything else as well. 
So on to those video recommendations. The first of all, now I know a lot of people watching this channel have got mixed feelings about this new TV channel, GB News. Um, I'm in two minds about it myself, but I've recently come across this video by Mark Dolan, who used to be on talk radio. It looks like he's jumped ship over to GB News. And in his pretty much his first program, he came out with this, you know, pretty big rant against the narrative. He was sort of going on about uh, what a load of rubbish those are and how they all need to go. He was sort of ranting on about uh, uh, those and how they should never happen again. And he was also talking about how the passports should never, ever, ever happen. And he was coming out with some quite good stuff. I didn't agree with everything he said in the speech. Um, and for instance, he was saying that uh, the whole Lurgy thing is not much more than a really bad cold. But in the next breath, he said he had the sort of double you know what, uh, quite proudly as well. So that didn't really make too much sense to me, but, and there was a couple of other things I didn't really agree with him, but I think overall, it was a good speech that he made. And the point of it is, is that a lot of the normies will be watching that channel and watching him. It won't be sort of uh, just people on our, our wavelength. There'll be a lot of kind of uh, Joe normies watching that and passing it on and sharing it with their sort of uh, like-minded people as well. So if nothing else, it's going to wake up a few more people. So I'll leave a link, it, it is on this platform, so I'll just leave a link in the comment section and description box below so you can check that out for yourself, see if you agree with me on it. Now, the other uh, video, which again is on this platform, so again, I'll leave the link um, sort of down below. I'm, boy oh boy, the, uh, the French do not mess around. When they're unhappy, they really, really show they're unhappy. And there's f footage in this video showing uh, Macron's house getting sprayed with horse doo-doo. <laughs> and uh, I've sort of gone a little bit into uh, sort of a dodgy area today, what with the other one about other video uh, earlier about flatulence and now uh, horse doo doo. But I think it's richly deserved, especially as far as the likes of uh, Macron's concerned. So he's got this big fancy house and it is literally sprayed all the way along by this great big tanker thing with some sort of jet spray attached to it and it's just spraying his whole place outside of his whole place with horse doo-doo absolutely fantastic i think you'll find it very very uplifting indeed to watch so link to that uh, in the description box below and i've got uh, uh ponce de leon one of uh, the viewers of this channel to thank for that he gave me the link so fantastic stuff thanks for sharing that so oh, I'll let you go and check out those two videos. Tim from Fairplay now, thanks for watching.